I measure myself against the tallest tree, and I find that I am much taller, for I reach right up to the sky with my eye, and I reach to the shore of the sea with my ear. But nevertheless, I just like the way the ants crawl in and out of my shadow. And this guy I'm talking about would say to that, don't sweat the small stuff. They're only ants. I step on them. <laughs> well, that's him. He's done an incredible job of his life. Inspired by Joe, he took it to the max. An action hero movie star, one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Song about Arnold, too. I've only played it for him about 50 times. As a matter of fact, it was 1997, and we were at the uh, Capitol, High Capitol Square. And I walked in with Michael Monk, and Dave Bob was playing there, and so we played the Arnold song. That's right. That's right. Well, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Well, being the co-producer of this event. Uh, I want to say first of all, thank you to Charlotte Parker for the great job. And I want to thank all of you for coming here today. Really to see this much enthusiasm and to see so many great friends of Joe, so many great legends in bodybuilding, so many champions, so many women and men, the kids that turned out here is really fantastic. And I want to say also thank you to the great speakers here today. And even though they may sometimes double the time that they've promised the five minute limit, but nevertheless, the really moving, touching, and wonderful speeches. And uh, so thank you to all the speakers today. It's great to be here today to say a few words about Joe, and I will keep my five minutes. Um, I, of course, was, uh, always said that America is the land of opportunity and without America wouldn't have achieved all the things that I've achieved. But the fact of the matter is it was Joe Leader that actually got me to America in the first place. Now, I have not met Joe when I started getting influenced by Joe, which was at the age of 15 in 1962, when I saw a magazine in a store in Graz in Austria that sold American stuff equipment, gym clothes, jeans, all kinds of things, cowboy stuff, and also American magazines. One of them was the Joe Weider magazine, and on the cover was Reg Park in a Hercules post. And I looked at the magazine, and this was at the time when I was full of energy and passion and a fire in the belly, and I wanted to go all out in life, and I wanted to be something special. And they always said I was exposed to this magazine. And I bought that magazine and I started reading about Rich Park. There was, uh, Joe Weider did something so smart because he not only wrote about Joe, uh, uh, Rich Park, but he also put in there his whole life story and about how he became this universe through hard training. And he put in there the training principles that he has used. How many sets, how many reps, how much weight you lifted. And he gave us the blueprint and how to become another rich park. And how he then got, because of being Mr. Universe three times, how he got into movies, and how he made millions of dollars, and started the gymnasium empire down in South Africa. All of this was in the magazine, and I said to myself, this is the blueprint for my life. And I started following that. And I trained exactly the way it was in the magazine, and then of course about more read the magazines, and that's the kind of impact that Joe Weider had then already before I had ever met him. I started in 1962, in 1967, five years later, at the age of 20, I became the youngest Mr. Universe ever. So that vision of Reg Park being on that cover, to then turning that dream that Joe has created for me, that I would have never had on my own, 
the dream that they created for me have, have turned into reality. And then, till we invited me to come to the United States. And I came over here, I met the most generous person that anyone could meet. And he has helped me, he has paid for my apartment out here, he has given me a car, and he has got me the apartment, and the money, everything. So I was able to train out here with the champions. And year after year, I started winning more and more competitions, including the Mr. Olympia, Mr. World, Mr. International, Mr. Universe, all of this. And Joe was there every step of the way. Booked in the cover more times than any other bodybuilding champion. So I think that the bodybuilders were always jealous. <laughs> but they didn't understand that Joe looked at me like I was his son. As a matter of fact, one day he was sitting there and I wanted, was just about to say to Joe, Joe, I feel like you're like my dad. And he said to me, before I even could say that, he says, Donald, let me tell you something. You're just like my son. I want to treat you like my son, I want to encourage you like my son. He says, as a matter of fact, I can go as far as saying, and I think Betty was sitting right there when he said, if I would have had five sons, they couldn't have been as good as you. That's the kind of compliments that he made. So I think it was really fantastic to meet someone like Joe who had a father figure because my dad did not at all endorse any of the training that I did. And my mother went crazy when I was training like that. And I had pictures on the walls of Reg Park and of, of, of boxers and weightlifters and powerlifters. She called the doctor and she said, there's something wrong with my son. <laughs> All of his friends that are 15 years old have pictures of women above their head. My son has pictures of naked like men. Do you think there's something going wrong there? So she was very worried. So my parents didn't endorse any of that. I got a lot of love from them, but they did not like this weight training stuff. And then all of a sudden, sit in front of a guy, Joe Weeder, and you have him say, You are the greatest. You're smart. I want you to go to college. I want you to get an education. I want you to get a college degree. I want you to study business. I want you to get into the movie business. And all of this stuff, to have someone there to encourage you every single day, you know how that made me feel? 